All right, guys, hang on. I'll tweet and whenever we get started. Oh, glare, glare. <laughs> oh, let's see if I can tilt the camera up just a little. Less glare. All right, let's see. <clears throat> Let's see. Where's my little coffee cup? Hi, Tracy. One second. I want to tweet. I don't like to tweet till I'm actually live because if anything goes wrong, <laughs> then, I'm, then I've tweeted and then I'm not there. So I like to wait till I'm actually live. But it just takes an extra minute. <clears throat> and I can't find my little coffee cup. There's the teacup. Where's my little coffee cup? I was going to post a little coffee cup, but I can't find it. There it is. <clears throat> How are you doing today? Hi, Nadia, Julie. Hi, Juanita. She spins. Hi, Julie. Happy Marvelous Monday. <laughs> Kelly W., Wendy Ellis. Hi, Kalora, Becky, Amaris, Barbara. Let me put, uh, let me finish tweeting here. Link in profile. Okay. Let's see. Tracy's doing great. Hi, Christy Color. Pamela. <laughs> it's the usual lurking. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see. Elizabeth. <clears throat> Does it look bright enough, guys? Hi, Faithful Mass. Mod salute. Okay. Going back into Lurk, Faithful did a, a nice um, stream yesterday for a little, I guess about an hour, a little over an hour. Um, Linda, hi Lorenzo, thank you. Yeah, we're going to do a pencil comparison today. Going to do pencil, comparing, these, are, I'm not sure, let me look and see if it says the date that these came out. These Amazon pencils. Um, when they, you know, they usually have the date that stuff came out when you order something. Let me go look at it here. All right, let's see. So, um, doesn't say, let's see, maybe I can click on that. Um, so anyway, I wanted to compare because people have said, I've seen a couple of people say that these are comparable to Prisma. And I wanted to see if that's true. And so for $29 compared to probably, well, I have the 150 set here and this is only 72, but the hundred and the 72 set of these, I'm not sure how much there are. They are right now. <clears throat> um, let's see. Let me see what year they came out. It doesn't have a date. It doesn't have a date on Amazon when these came out. Oh, first date available 2008, two years. These have been out two years. <clears throat> now let me see the uh, Prisma color, how much 72 cost right now. So, hi, Nashua. Let's see, 72, there's 100, okay, 72, these are, these are for 45, these are 29, <clears throat> for, the, for 72 of them. Let me write that down, because when I start talking, I'll forget, 29 versus 45. Um... 
So what's everybody working on over or did over? <coughs> sorry, I got to get my voice going. Worked on over the weekend. I do have a couple new magazines as well that I'm going to show. A couple new magazines. And i got some papers here to test the pencils on craft paper, white paper, and black paper. So we're going to do some color. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. i got to get my voice going. Color pencil review. Let me turn the fans blowing right in my face. <clears throat> here we go. <clears throat> Hi, Barbara. <laughs> uh, Christy's been coloring more cute and creepy. I know. I've been enjoying cute and creepy. I did another one yesterday. Hi, Janet. Yeah, um, Janet still hasn't got her Logitech. Oh, wrong one. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. So... <clears throat> <clears throat> So she said her camera is coming tomorrow. So, uh, well, I think she ordered another one too, didn't you, Janet? You ordered, well, I know you did. Which one's coming tomorrow, Janet? The Logitech or the other one? Which one's coming tomorrow? I know you got another one coming. I'm tired of waiting. Hi, Marie. I know it's a fun book, isn't it? It is a fun book. Mrs. is working on a small project. And I say Mrs. It could, I don't know, MRS. It, <laughs> just because I abbreviate. Uh, da, 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 da. No, it's Wendy. The $45, the $45 is for 72 pencils on Amazon. The the uh premium, the, this is the Amazon brand, 72, and they're 29. Now I'm sure they have they have sales all the time on Amazon. I just looked it up. That as of this morning, that's how much they were for for 72. Now this is my 150 150 here, but I'm gonna pick colors out that are comparable to what I pick out of here. Hi Zeely, good to see you. How you doing? Oh okay, so Jan, <clears throat> that is so weird. It has to be it has to be because of uh, international and stuff, Janet. You know, um, is what I'm thinking. Let's see. Hi, Bacola. Who else am I missing? There's Amy, Julie. Oh, you celebrated your grand sweet 16. Oh, that's awesome. Well, it sounds like everybody had a good weekend. Judy, Kathy. Um, I'm, I know I'm probably missing people coming in. Kirsty, did I say call you Christy? It's Kirsty Color and Sketch. Or there might be a uh, Christy too. Hi, Mama Four. Did you get to see the new baby the uh, over the weekend, Mama Four? Hi, Jennifer. Dee Dee Sue, how you doing? Uh, I said hi to Judy. I'm just scrolling through to see who I might have missed. Oh, good. Good, Mama Four. <laughs> uh, let's see. You always get you get mistaken for Cur Christy instead of Kirsty. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I like your avatar. That's cute. <laughs> let's see. So, yeah. Um, well, Mrs., thank you so much for the super sticker. Thank you so much. I'm going to get my um I'm gonna get my uh, November thank yous out. You got a you got a uh October thank you, didn't you, Mrs.? Thank you so much for the super sticker. I hope you got your uh October one. Thank you so much. I wrote it down. I keep I keep a, a list of everybody that super chats or PayPals me and I send out thank yous. So thank you so much, Mrs. For uh, yeah, <laughs> but go on. So thank you, Mrs. For supporting. Yeah, you did. Okay, good. All right. Well, be looking for another one, another happy mail. Yeah, I send I I send out thank yous to everybody that super chats or uh, PayPal tip jars me, 
and if I if you if you you have to leave me your address and PayPal. Now I have Mrs's because I've she's been uh, I've been sending her uh, stuff out. But um, if you PayPal tip Jarmy, make sure you leave your address so I can send you a thank you. And I always say this: I don't share the addresses with anybody, not even the mods. So. I don't share your address. I don't put you on the email list. None of that. So I just send you out a thank you for supporting the channel. Uh, let's see. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mrs. Uh, <laughs> um, hi, B. Jerry. You're going to get snow, Kalora? I'm not sure. I think it's going to be in the... I don't know. Let me check my weather. Hi, Cat D. You got to catch a live stream. Good. Good. Well, we're going to um, compare some pencils today. Plus, I got a couple new magazines to show. Um, let me see my weather. Where's my weather app? I got so many apps. Sometimes it's hard to find them. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's going to be in the mid 60s here we got we got some rain coming in but um it's wednesday i think so let's see who else am i missing oh thank you thank you pacola thank you so much uh, nine degrees in colorado with snow falling are you one that likes to get out and do stuff in the snow, Mrs.? When we lived in Alaska, the girls loved getting out skiing and sledding and all that. Um, and I didn't mind the cold and the snow. What I didn't like was the dark. In the winter, it's dark for three months. <laughs> of course, in the summer, it's light for three months. But it's so dark in the, you know, the winter. So let's see. All right, well, I guess we'll get crack a lacking. <laughs> you know, she said, no, she doesn't like the snow. <laughs> when, have you, were you always in Colorado, Mrs., or have you lived other places? where, Like, if you ever lived in Florida or something, and then you have to go live in snow? <laughs> but Colorado's not, you know, it's, it's snowy in the winter, but it's pretty. It's a pretty uh, state. <laughs> So let's see. Hi, Kim. Who else am I missing? Oh, you're born and raised there. Okay. And you still don't like the snow? Did you? Now, I'm not, I don't know. Don't tell me how old you are. I'm not asking your age. But when you were a kid, did you like the snow when you were a kid, Mrs.? Like, did you ski and stuff like that when you were a kid? Mm -mm. Drinking my juice and my coffee, get my voice, keep my voice going here. Oh, let's see. We barely get snow in the UK. Yeah. Um, Kirsty said. Oh, Mrs. said I loved it till I had to drive. Yeah, the first time I had to drive in Alaska. Of course, we lived in Anchorage, and they don't have like highway. I mean, they have highways, but it's not like freeways, expressways. You know, so when you're driving down the road, you got, you know, 10 feet of snow on either side of you. <laughs> it's, but they keep the, the they keep the roads clear. You know, they have snow plows and they salt or whatever they do to keep the roads clear. You know, it's not like here in Atlanta. If you have a snowstorm in Atlanta, it's like shut down, baby. We are shutting down. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we don't we don't take any chances with people that don't know how to drive in the snow. It all shuts down. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Faithful man said the kids don't feel the weather like adults. Uh, <laughs> Because they're not, they're not, they're probably not paying attention to it. They just, they're just living it, you know, they're just living in it. Whatever, we're living it, so we got to live it. Hi, Michelle. 
Let's see, Diva. Hello. I know I'm missing people. Thanks, everybody, for being here. All right, we'll get started. So I am going to compare. Let me let me go ahead and zoom in one here. I am going to compare um, the Amazon Premium Color Pencils that are supposedly, they've been out for two years, and I really didn't know much about them. You know, I mean, I've seen a couple of things, but nothing really, not, not a lot. And uh, so I said, well, for 39, no, is it, did I say 39, 29 for $29. It, and I've heard people say they're comparable to Prisma. So the Prisma's right now, I'm just going to look it on Amazon. The 72 set of Prisma are 45 and the 72 set of uh, Amazon are 29. So we're, I'm going to do some comparison today. And then we run out of things to do. I'll color in my um, I'll color in my cute and creepy, which I'm trying to do every day. And I am getting down to we have five, let's see, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I got six more day, six more insects to do on my poster. And I am starting to do fill in the background. <clears throat> That's a big poster. I'll tell you, when you're coloring behind all those bugs, it takes some time. <laughs> I do also have um, a couple new zines. I'm going to show the zines. And I did pull this. I forgot to read out of our 1001 Ways to Be Creative last week. So I have it sitting here trying to remember. Two new magazines. I got the Bella Grace Field Guide to Everyday Magic. And it's like a little journaling type magazine. So I'm going to show that. And then this, I've never seen this before. Origin. Plant recipes, inspiration, and wellness. And it's like one of those double sided, like you, it's halfway through is this way, and then halfway through is the other way, and they meet in the middle and that goes upside down. <laughs> but anyway, I, I, I got this and it was really inexpensive. It was only $5.95 for a magazine these days. $5.95 is pretty good. So this is very inspirational. I think y'all will like it. Nobody's paying me and I'm not being sponsored by anything you see. Just so, saying. Okay, so before we get started doing the pencil comparison or the uh, magazines, I'm going to set all this aside. I, and I did get black craft and white paper so that we can compare it on all three. So before we do that, let me show the new zines that have come in. So you still have time. If, you've, um, if you haven't sent your zine in, then um, you need to get it out to me so that I, I get it by Halloween. Let me see here. Let me straighten up my camera just a little. Okay. So let me just be careful not to show any addresses here. Let me set all the envelopes to the side. All right. This one is from Margaret. <clears throat> Margaret R. And again, if I, if I'm not if I don't know you well, I don't want to say your last name. If you're here and I'm showing it, or hi Shannon, good to see you. Morning, Mernin. Let's see, Mernin. <laughs> uh, so Shannon, yeah, if y'all don't follow Shannon, you, Shannon's a hoot. You need to follow Shannon the hoot. <laughs> uh let's see yeah me too marie <laughs> and let's see and there's Pacola talking about the zines and my p.o box okay so i'm going to show the zines that came in so this is margaret r and you know different people here have different names so if, if this is you and you want to um, fess up to who who you are then feel free otherwise you don't have to do that but this one was real cool and again, there is a video, there's a video called, um, let me, I'm going to have to zoom in because if I lift up there, maybe if I turn on the, oh, let me try the overhead light today. Some days it's better than others, Let's see. depending on if it gives me a glare. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I can lift it up a little without it, um, what do you call, um, going dark. Let's see here. Let's zoom in one more. So, um. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Gabriella. <laughs> oh, there's a video called um, Hello Zine Swap. And it's from like two weeks ago. If you just want to see how to make it and all. So um, and if, you, if you're on the ball and get it to me. <laughs> all right. So this is Margaret R. And um, I think maybe I'll stay right here so we can get some light. Let's see. Let that. I still want to flash it out, but. No, that's too shadowy. All right. 
<clears throat> so I, I just love the, the creativity in the zines. Look at this. The moon, little guy holding a skull sit next to the skeleton. And the only requirement was it had to be somehow Halloween, you know, because it's a Halloween. Um, you bring us, oh, thank you, Gabriel. That's a nice thing to say. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We, we do our best, but I gotta say, I couldn't do it without my mods. I'm just saying. And, um, thank you, Pacola. And by the way, um, the links that when Pacola puts a link in and stuff, you can click them. But, uh, so I want to show whenever she goes to the trouble to do that because Pacola's like the snapping turtle. She's like the snapping turtle mod, I'm telling you. So let's go back here to Margaret Zine. <laughs> but look how cool this is. I mean, I just really loved it. It's just so very creepy cool. You know, it's kind of like something you'd see at a carnival or something, you know. So, and then there's Poe right there. There's a raven. So I just really liked it. I really liked it a lot. So this one is Margaret, Margaret R. And again, I'm not going to, because I don't know who that Margaret R is. I don't want to, you know, say people's names if they're not, if they're not wanting me to. So there's that one. And I put everything back in their original envelopes until I send them out. So everything stays organized. I've done enough swaps that I do that. <laughs> Janet. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. <laughs> My family album. <laughs> uh, yes, they are. The Moz R fam. Chicken Pot Pie Society. I love that last name, Barb. Chicken Pot Pie Society. <laughs> she was thinking the same. Okay. <clears throat> so the next one, and I want to show them all, you know, so. This one has a little note. Dee, Dee, she made me another zine. She goes, this zine is for you. Thanks for all you do. Also some images I thought you might like. They're copyright free. Also includes another zine for the swap. This was fun. So this is the one that, um, and this is Vicky. This is Vicky. Well, I think everybody knows Vicky Yeager. So Vicky Yeager. And um, so she sent me a bunch of little, little, clip art things and little images let me hold it up so you can see it <clears throat> some little cats of course you'll know we love our cats a rooster <laughs> i love these they're gonna be they'll either go in my you know because i have a glue book commonplace book uh you know have a little <laughs> journals whatever they'll go in one of those look at this one there's uh that's uh malibu and oliver oh speaking of <laughs> Did you see a photograph that looked like you? Huh? Did you see something that looked like you, baby girl? You want to lay down right here? Well, lay down. Lay down. You have to sit down so that you can't walk on my keyboard. You want to hold that for me? So, uh, <laughs> and uh, so this is the one she... <laughs> so cute. Okay, let's turn this way so they can see you. You want to turn that way so they can see you? All right, hang on, guys. Let me pet her for just a minute. I'm sliding her so she. <laughs> Let's go this way. Let's go. You don't want to fit. Well, I know you want to get over there to the wires and the cords and all the fun stuff. Okay, so she sent me this one for myself, a little witchy one that says, When witches go riding and black cats are seen. The moon laughs and whispers near Halloween. So isn't that good? Yeah. <laughs> it's And it's all hand drawn. So I just love that. I love that, Vicki. That is so good. <laughs> look at that look. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So I love that. Thank you, Vicki. <laughs> And all these little little cutouts. And then this is the one that she sent. And she did send a um, she did send a business card. So uh artist Vicky Yeager, that's what she on Instagram. Um, let's see. Oh, she's on this back of this one here. 
She is on Instagram if you want to follow her. Vicki Yeager 5 on Instagram. So I thought I think I follow her. If not, I'll go find her. So she has her little business card there. And hi, Robin. And then this is the one. Well, she sent it's the same one. So she sent the same one for a giveaway. So she sent me one and she sent one for the giveaway. So there she is right there. Vicki Yeager five. Okay, so there's that one. Let's put it back in the little envelope until it's time to send out. <clears throat> okay. Next. This one is from Beth Schuler. So um, y'all y'all know Beth. She has a YouTube channel. And Beth does a lot of, she's been doing a lot of the reverse collage, like an abandoned book kind of a reverse collage. And she also has been doing like monster. It's not called monster mash. What's it called? Monster pit. You know, like it's like a prompt thing. And they have, she has a like little different list of noses and eyes and ears. And she spins a big giant dice and they draw monsters. It's really cute. Well, anyway, this is uh this is the one she said, you are a power woman. And she put it in a little, she put the zine in a little like sleeve, you know, a little a little um, cover. So you made my day. I believe in you. You brighten my day. Inspiring. Keep up the good work. She does. Um, she has some kind of a woman, a woman. Uh, what do you call it? Um, book. A woman. Book of women. <laughs> so I'm thinking that this is what uh, where she kind of got this. And uh, she said it was her very first zine. So it was her very first scene. So good job on your very first zine, Beth. And I don't see her here this morning. But anyway, Beth Schuler has a, a um, and then also she has some little beads there. So very pretty. Yeah, draw, oh, draw, not roll. Um, oh, thanks, Bacola. There's a list to Beth's channel. Roll a monster. Okay, that's what it's called. Roll a monster. <laughs> Oh, okay, then let's see the next one. I got two more here. Then I got this one. Let me pull it out here. I'm just keeping the envelopes to the side. <clears throat> this one is Tracy. Tracy P. In New Zealand. And she sent me some money for the stamps. Now, I know Devin and I talked about this. And I said, Really? And and I guess this is true. I mean, I'm not doubting Devin, but apparently in, at least in Canada, where Devin is, Devin Rex, I don't see her here this morning. But anyway, apparently they don't have global stamps. Like we have, it's called, they're round and they're called global. And they'll go, you know, they're for anywhere in the world. And so she wanted to send me her self-addressed stamped Devin want to send me your self-addressed stamped envelope from Canada, but they don't, they, they don't have any, any stamps to send it back. They don't have a global stamp to send for me to send it back. So anyway, this Tracy just sent me some, um, a couple of dollars to send this back to her. And here comes the other cat. Let me, let me zoom out so you can see them both for a minute. <laughs> it's still kind of close, but let me move this out. No, you don't. No, 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 no. Don't get in stuff or I'm going to have to make you get down. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, I, didn't, I never heard of a country not having a global stamp that you can use to send anywhere in the world, but apparently Canada doesn't. Uh, spooky and kooky. <laughs> this one's this one is Tracy's. No, baby, you can't have that. Oh, hang on. Let me move everything around. <laughs> this is spooky and kooky, Tracy. All right, I got to zoom back in. Hang on. Here we go. <laughs> That's so cute. Um, yeah, Barbara said, yeah, it's true for Canada. I know. I thought everybody. Hi, Sharon. I thought everybody had uh, some kind. All right, you're going to get down to? Okay. 
everybody had some kind of international. I mean, like Canada has no. All right, y'all gonna have to go on out. Come on. Um, everybody has international stamps for their country, but not everybody has stamps that's good for any country. Does that make sense? So, can I say your name? Tin the turtle. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So spooky and kooky. <clears throat> don't be a troll now. My mods will just, you'll go, bam. <laughs> Trolls don't stay long here. Um, embrace the unpredictable. So there's some little cats and bats. And I, I'm really liking this. Very arty. Very arty, Tracy. Very arty. A person should always choose a costume which is in direct contrast to her own personality. <laughs> I love this. I just love this. This is so, <laughs> this is so cute. <clears throat> a little, little monster, boo, a little, a little witch be happy in an uncertain world on Halloween 2020. So it's so painty and so arty. I really like it. So that's Tracy's in New Zealand. She has spooky and kooky in New Zealand written on there. So love that. <laughs> hey, Mark, where you been? Where you been, Mark? I saw you uh, on a family on a family outing thing on Facebook a couple weeks ago. But you need to make some videos, Mister. Just saying, you need to get crack a lacking. <laughs> you need to get crack a whacking. <laughs> Let me get a sip of juice again. Okay. And the last one that I got here is from Abigail. And Abigail comes in. I don't see her here this morning. But Abigail, um, she won some um, pins. Um, hi, Hut. Good to see you. She won some uh, pins. She well, she won a giveaway. She chose the big pins, and uh, so anyway, Abigail's in the Netherlands, and so she sent me a little package here. I'm not going to, of course, show you the front, but she sent me a little package here. Let's make sure I get her envelope and stuff out of the way. <clears throat> And she said, Dee Dee, thank you so much for the pins. I love them. Here's my Halloween. The pretty one is for you and the others for the fans. <laughs> I think it's all pretty, but, you know, enjoy the sweetness of life. And what she sent, she sent some um, literal Dutch chocolates. <laughs> so look, look at them there. I haven't opened them yet because I wanted to show you guys first. So, um, yeah. Oh, you need to get yourself and Eileen to keep you moving, Mark. Okay. <laughs> uh, so she sent some chocolates. And uh, so let's open them up, shall we? Let me get my, uh, let me see if I can reach over here and get a knife here. So let's take the plastic off here. <clears throat> Because I just want to see what they look like. <laughs> Shan says, I've had those chocolates there to die for. <laughs> so the finest, so, so look, it's got a little perforated thing here. So <gasps> Look at it. It's just pretty. It's just pretty just to look at. It's art, art in a box. Art in a box. I know Barbara goes, oh, goody treats. Let's see if I can get the. <laughs> yeah eileen harley comes anymore she's i don't know if she sleeps in lately maybe we are just too early for eileen <laughs> hi hedgy good morning hedgy <laughs> hi donna good to see you uh, yeah chocolate for breakfast yeah because i don't eat breakfast <laughs> Janet goes, don't forget your friend so it's just it's just so beautiful let's see if they have and it's all in dutch oh here's some in english merci finest selection is a complete chocolate indulgence enjoy piece by piece our carefully selected variety of high quality chocolates 
delicate fillings and unique recipes. Don't they look good? <gasps> oh, let's see if they have. Well, it's all the calories and stuff. We don't want to read that. Oh, wait, let's see. Let me see. It's very tiny. Okay, I have it under the light, so you can't see. I'm leaning in the light. But there's a milk chocolate, a coffee and cream, uh, hazelnut, hazelnut almond, hazelnut cream, a marzipan, a dark cream, a dark mousse, and a praline cream. I had to get under the light to read them tiny, those tiny little <laughs> descriptions. So thanks so much, Abigail. Okay, so here is her halloween. She put it in a little box because she had a package. So she, <laughs> so she uh, put it in a little box. <clears throat> Try one ASMR mode. Well, I don't want to eat them. I don't, uh, yeah, I've done that before and I start talking and I choke. <laughs> I'll have one later with my coffee. <laughs> I know it's going to be good. Hi, Scrap Girl. Good to see you. Okay, so Halloween. My step-grandfather was from uh, the Netherlands. Of course, then we called it Holland. But um, he was, uh, after World War II, he immigrated to the United States. And then, of course, he was here the rest of his life. And, um, <clears throat> and he always had an accent all his life. I mean, Oh, he never, never got rid of a heavy Dutch accent his whole life. And uh, so anyway, yeah, he had pictures and talked about the Netherlands and yeah. So yeah, thanks, Abigail. Okay, so look at this. Look, she's got this little, little um, fibrous thing wrapped up that kind of looks like spider webby, right? And she has a little pumpkin. Look how cute. So cute. Okay, so here we go. So she's got the two zines in here. And so one is all wrapped. Oh, look, more little uh, more little uh, pumpkins. So here's the one that she's giving. This is it's a copy uh, for her swap. Uh, hey, Agaz Agazin. Agazin. Agas Agasin. Agasin? Zay. Hello, Agazin. I know I'm saying it wrong. Just call Zay. Just say. <laughs> and uh, so Halloween. Take a witch at a broom. Cast a spell and watch her zoom. If the broom fits, ride it. <laughs> witch parking only. All others will be towed. <laughs> now some of y'all going to love. Y'all love this kind of thing. <laughs> Beware of the dark, dark night. It is the one in which insects and ghosts appear and bite. Be careful what you wish for. You might get it. Have a spooktacular Halloween. Don't let the bat, bad bats bite. <laughs> hope all the candles. Oh, hope all the candies don't go to waste. W-A-I-S-T. Hope they all don't go to waste. <laughs> Hi, Tatiana. I tagged you on Instagram. I colored the wall so colored. Oh, okay. I'll go. If I haven't, uh, I think I follow you, Tatiana. I'll go look. I'll go look. So, Halloween. I love that. And the little and the little pumpkin. So cute. Okay. So, let's see how we can open this. I didn't do. I, I waited for you guys because I'm going to have to take this. Um, chain. Let's see if I can unhook it here. It's got a little, uh, it's got a little, one of the little uh, claw clasps. Let's see if I can get this here. Hang on. I wasn't going to try to put this back together on camera. Okay, so there we go. So it has a little chain around it. Halloween. So you, I'm seeing it for the first time too. I think it's the same one. Yeah, it's the same one. She made me, just made me a copy with a, a chain on it. It's the same one. It's so cute. Hope all the candies don't go to waste. Thank you so much, Abigail, and thank you for the candies. So cute. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So let's put this back in the envelope uh, until, until I send them out. I keep it all together. That's just the best way to do a swap. Keep the envelope with the address and everything together. Of course, the candy's not going back in there. <laughs> the candy will be going in the refrigerator. 
I like my candy cold. Do y'all like your candy cold? Your chocolate cold? Look at that, though. It, it almost looks like art supplies, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's just, we'll take an ASMR moment. Hi, Scoops. Where is she? <clears throat> I see Janet saying hi to her. There she is. I know. Aren't they fun? They are fun. So as soon as I get, um, I think a Wednesday is Halloween. I think that's the 31st. I'm not sure. Anyway, but like a day or two later, I'll, I'll send them all out within a, within a day or two. Uh, I'll swap them all out and get them out to you guys because I have to also finish my Inksectober poster. It's coming along. I'm having to paint the, you know, uh, ink in the backgrounds and it's so big. It's, it's like I, I always post every day. It's 22 by 29. It's huge. And 31 insects are all over it. So I can't wait for you to see it with the background all inked in. It looks like paints, doesn't it, Molly? <laughs> it's chocolates from Abigail in the Netherlands. And if y'all don't follow Abigail, again, I don't know how what her, um, you know, preferences are on Facebook. But she makes some beautiful journals and some beautiful drawings and art over on Facebook. So if you don't follow her over on uh, Facebook, you know, like I said, I don't know her preferences and stuff. So and how much of her art and stuff is public, but she does some awesome art. Um, OK, Mama Four. OK, so I'm going to set my candy aside. Uh, let's see. Now I've got another dog commission to get done <clears throat> within a couple weeks here. Sip of juice. Um, if y'all, um, it has to be quick though, <clears throat> but if you want any portraits or pet portraits done for Christmas gifts, you have to get with me, um, commissions. You have to get with me like within the next two weeks, cause that's a cutoff date for me to get them done for you and ship to you by Christmas. Again, I don't do international commissions cause I can't track them and I've had things get lost. Uh, I've had things get lost international and I've had to either refund or redo the art. And I don't like to do either one. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Sco Scooby, are you posting? Are you posting them? I don't remember seeing you posting them. Are you posting them anywhere? Why am I not remembering seeing your Inktober? Whether you're behind or not. Are you on doing them on IG Scooby? Somehow I'm missing them. Um, yeah, I know Janet's and Janet is doing, let me see, where's my phone? Let's go to IG for a minute. Let's see what we got over here on IG. <clears throat> so let's get over to Instagram and I'll show you first. All right. So first off, let me show you Kalora, Becky Kalora is doing, let's, uh, there's Molly's. I see Molly's there. Let me go back at it. it changed as soon as I got there. Let's see. It's under Becky, I think. She's doing a pumpkin. <coughs> She's doing a collage pumpkin. So look. She's doing one with the doors that open up. I think there's three. Oh, there's a four. Oh, there's five. There's a glare. I got my overhead light on. So Becky's doing a uh collage pumpkin oh you don't do social media at all scoops okay well we well then how do we see your stuff oh there <laughs> that, that was unpleasant what was unpleasant i missed where you went becky so anyway that uh that she's doing a an awesome pumpkin so um there's her name right there if it's flat let me turn down the light There we go. And I do have the overhead light on, so it wants to glare on that, too. But there she is. That's Becky Calora. Um, hi, Dot. Now, let me go over here to Janet. Let's see here. This is why I come on early. <laughs> okay, so you're doing animals or whatever. Yeah, I'm not, I've never done the official prompts on in Inktober. This is my sixth year of doing it. I've completed it so far. I've got five, six more days on uh, the bugs, 
but I've completed it. This will be my sixth year, but I've never followed the prompt, Scooby. Yeah, I've never followed the. Um... Oh, you have back surgery on Thursday? Oh my gosh, Kalora. Well, keep us posted. I didn't know you were having back surgery. Well, you take care. Let us know. Okay. Keep us posted on when, you know, how it goes and when you get, because you're on Instagram, you can post or message or message. Okay. Let me go to Janet here. I'm trying to get as many as I can. All right. So Janet has been doing, Janet's been doing, she's done it another year. She did cartoon characters. So let me just kind of scroll through here. So you can see she's doing, this is what Janet's doing for um, Inktober. She's doing cartoon characters. Okay, thanks, Becky. And then here's Janet here. She says, I'm kidding, they've been really easy. So she's she's got all hers over here, and then Janet. There's Janet's um, there's Janet's uh, Instagram right there. If you want to follow Janet, who usually streams after me on Mondays, but because she still hasn't got her new camera in, I think she said she's getting it tomorrow. Um. So yeah. So go follow Janet. Who else? There was somebody else. You've been doing Molly. Okay, Molly. I you popped up as soon as I opened up uh, Instagram. There's Molly. So you're behind. Okay, I'm not sure. I don't see any. Um, I don't see any Inktober's. Are you not posting them? Are you not posting your Inktober's, Molly? Hi, Jane. Um. Oh, you haven't posted them. Oh, okay. Well, that's why I don't see any. But I do see a cute little kitten. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know aren't the, aren't Janet's cartoon characters good? And then let me show y'all this. I did get in the mail. I have it in a frame here. It's probably gonna glare because it's in glass. Let me take it down over here. So y'all know that Hut comic book Hut. He was here a minute ago. Had done Sean Connery for me. Well, look, he did John Wayne. Oh, good. It's not glaring too badly. So let me take this off here. <clears throat> so the comic book Hut did the Duke, which Hubster really liked. So thanks so much, Hut. Isn't it good? I just love his style. I like it. It's all marker. Hut does all his work in marker. So, um, and if you don't follow the comic book Hut, He's on uh, YouTube, and also he does most of his drawings on Facebook. So um, peruse his art drawings over on Facebook. So let's see. Okay, so now I'll show you the couple of new magazines that I got in or bought at uh, Books A Million. And the Bella Grace has their, they are a uh, summer, you know, the one, the same producer, Somerset Studio, Stampington. They usually have a magazine, Bella Grace, um, and it's a full size magazine. You know, this is a, like a little square one, but this is a special, uh, it, uh, a special one put out for Bella Grace by Stampington. Did you, have you ever used clip art? Oh, click art markers? Click art? No, I never have even heard of them. I've never heard of click art. I bet Anne, I bet Anne's heard of them. Because <laughs> Anne is a, she does everything with the markers. But lately she's been doing diamond painting. So I'm not sure how much markers she's been using lately, but she's probably heard of them. But no, I've never heard of click art. I have a Copic. I have the Hobby Lobby ones. I have um, one of these, the um, Hoo Hoo Hero ones. I have these. 
as far and as far as uh, alcohol markers, I'm guessing that they're alcohol markers, Donna. The click art markers that they're uh, alcohol based. Hi, Christine G. Oh, they click point like a pin and don't dry out. Oh, okay. No, I hadn't heard of those. So are they water-based? Are they water-based or alcohol-based, Donna? Donna said they click point like a pin. <clears throat> okay, early learning. We'll do... Um. Okay, so here, let's go ahead and show, let's show the uh, the two magazines I got. I don't think I'm too close here. So this one's a little square one. I'll tell you all the sizes. People like to know if it's an odd size. What size is that? Let me get a, let me get a ruler over here. <clears throat> okay, so this one is like eight and a little under eight and a half by nine and a half so it's a little more than a square oh okay donna said they're water based and fine tip okay okay thanks donna no i hadn't even heard of them where'd you where did you get them donna amazon okay so bella gray's field guide to everyday magic 100 plus soul searching questions beautiful quotes to inspire worksheets journaling space list making and more that's what's uh, covered in this. Okay, so they're 36 from Amazon or 40. Okay, all right, thanks. Okay, so again, it's kind of a journaling prompt. And, and it's all on that matte paper. It's all on matte paper, which is good for draw, uh, writing. If you like to write on them, how to use this book. Of course, you can use them any way you want. <laughs> So, but there's lots of questions and prompts for you to fill out and journal. And y'all know when I get a book like this, whether it's a magazine or a book, I don't usually fill it out in the book. I'll pull what I want out of the questions or the prompts and I'll use them in my other journals, my other writing journals, rather so that's all in one place. Because here's my thing about these kind of books. I love them and I buy them, as you know, I show them, but then when I want to write about something, then I'm going to have something in this magazine, something in that magazine, something in this book, something in that book. I'd rather have it all in my own journal, commonplace book, or, you know, whatever, whatever I'm writing in at the time. And I'd rather have it all together uh, as far as my uh, like quotes and journaling and notes. Now, y'all know I've got a gazillion art journals and I have, you know, Society of Idea Collector idea collecting notebook but when i want to write about something or anything like that um the, it, i want it all in one place rather than in 10 different little you know this kind of thing but i love the ideas the prompts the questions you know the things that makes you think about i love that and uh but I just don't want all my different writing in tons of different places. So like here's a little gratitude chart for you to do a gratitude a, a day for a month. And just all kinds of little quotes and prompts. I know we've had these kind of magazines and books and journals before. But I just wanted to show you this one because it's out now. And um, <clears throat> so yeah. Yeah. How much time do you lose worrying about things that are beyond your control? And then you can just write about whatever. But again, I would rather write all this stuff in my own, um, you know, spirals or whatever I'm writing in at the time. <clears throat> oh, thanks, Pacola. Pacola put a link to this magazine. Again, I got it at Books A Million. And I know there's a shadow. I know, maybe it's, I need to turn off the overhead light. This light usually works for me, but it's really putting a bright glare. That's a little better. And depending on the time of day and how sunny it is. So in this, in this nice, it's very chill. It's a very chill magazine. Nice photos and 
very meditative, you know, <laughs> just very chill. Hello, Rowena. Different little quotes and word bubbles. And here's the only to-do list you need. <laughs> Take a minute to pause, hug someone, write down your thoughts, dream, see magic every day. Choose one, you know, and it has different things like nights in or nights out. Movie or concert, new or vintage, chocolate chip or oatmeal raisin, city or country, train or plane, those kind of things. So it just makes you think. It makes you pause. It makes, you know, there's all kinds of magazines out now on, um, you know, pausing and slowing down. Of course, I think everybody's been slowed down for six months. So that was uh, kind of forced on everybody. But um Anyway, I just, I thought this was a nice, I like the format of it. I like how there's lots of space and I like that it's square. If there was ever one that I've been tempted to write in, it would be this one. And again, the paper's matte. So any kind of pen you um, use would be, would work on it. So, um, <laughs> tease to do it. Share your chocolate. Jan is determined. Jenna's determined to get some of my uh, Dutch chocolate from the Netherlands, from Abigail. <laughs> well, Janet, your birthday's coming up, so we'll see. I might, I might share one, one or two with you. <laughs> so there's that. That's uh, the Bella Gray's Field Guide to Everyday Magic. And again, their normal magazine is a regular full size, and this one is just uh, a little square one, kind of. All right. Okay, so then the other one I got is called Origin, Plant Recipes, Inspo, Inspiration, and Wellness. And uh, it's one of those magazines that you flip over and it's halfway through one side then halfway through the other. And um, it's just got all kinds of little inspiration, self-care, mindfulness. That was the word I was looking for. There's a lot of magazines out on mindfulness and uh, setting intentions. Now, this well, I, I was really impressed with this one. It was only $5.95. Y'all know a magazine like this, they can run up to like, you know, $14.95 for a magazine. I'll give it to my Denise. <laughs> I really can. <laughs> uh, so, uh, and again, this one is your regular size magazine. I'm pretty sure eight and a half by 11. And uh, <laughs> hi, Tracy. Anybody else I miss coming in? And it's just had all kinds. Of, if you like to do glue booking or cutting things out and putting them in a an intention journal, or if you have some kind of place where you keep quotes, this is a this is a cool one. So I'm just gonna tell y'all, y'all gonna like this if you like to cut things out and keep them and glue them or add them to your journals. Uh, so. It's just, you know, of course, it's, you know, it's got healthy, you know, it's very healthy kind of stuff and tea and vitamins and stuff. But here's the table of contents. Just look at the table of contents. It looks awesome, right? Hi, Abadah. Did I miss saying hi to you? <clears throat> so they have recipes and, uh, you know, here's some recipes and uh, at first when I started looking through, I thought, oh, there's a lot of recipes. And I don't cook. Hi, Devin. Devin Rex. We are talking about you earlier. <laughs> and a lot of vitamins and stuff. But it gets into, it does get into some other, uh, on the. I think it's on the other side when I flip it. But look, a lot of recipes. But just, just look at the pictures. Aren't they just nice? Okay, so here we got the um, learning to listen to your gut and trust yourself. And they have all these little mini articles. Just little, you know, uh, articles on business and, um, you know, having a good business, intentions, um, three vital business lessons. And then they'll have some pages of quotes like this. And 
another page of just a big quote. And then here's what I'm talking about. They have these little, little quotes like this that are individual, like a little quote on any advice in, like a, here's some little, a little column of questions. Any advice on taking care of your spirit? Any advice on self-care and wellness? I have little answers. And uh, so I have little question and answers here. But look, follow your passion. Success will follow. And then they have this little thing here. But look, you can cut those individual ones out. Advice for creatives and entrepreneurs. And then along the edges here, and I just have they have these little random quotes. Um, if it costs you your peace, it's too expensive. And then here's the 411. And so they just have little quotes. And then, of course, a few recipes and some coupons and stuff. Um, perfection does not exist. And then here's a little, this one is by Katie Smith in Glasgow, Scotland. Has her Instagram. And then she's the artist and, and writes the um, different articles on this section. So, but look at it. Look at the eye candy on this. And you can just cut individual little things out. And then again, the little advice columns. It's really cute. Very cute. And uh, again, here's more little ones. Just like this little edge here says take risk. You don't always need to be productive. Take some time for yourself. And little, there's just little boxes of, of uh, quotes and inspiration. And then uh, this is still, I think this is the same person. No, these are, then there's a couple other. These girls are from uh, UK. And they just have their Instagrams and the different art. And, uh, but it's just so so much that you can cut out and use say so look at all this look at all the uh cut of cutability <laughs> the business of creativity work an idea through until it's reached its best outcome uh you know and then just little little quotes and little little tips little tips and that's the first time i've seen this magazine i don't know how long it's been out uh, I guess it's been out. Let's see. Let's go back over here. I think they have some where you can subscribe. Yeah, look. See, look at the different ones. It's been out a while. I've just never seen it. I've not seen it at Books A Million. But I will be looking for it because I think it's just got so many little, look. It's just got so much little information. Stay present. Learning how to fail. Focus on what you want. Travel opens your mind. Just little, little, little uh, paragraphs of tips and things. Isn't it pretty, guys? And then here's all pages of little quotes that you can cut out. <clears throat> and little things to use for um, your art journaling. Believe in your creative power. This will pass. It's just a phase. And they got these little moons. Stay curious. And then they have these occasional large uh, page qu quotes that fill a page. <clears throat> Again, little boxes of things that you can cut out. Look at it. I mean, it's just full. It's just packed full of little quotes and things that you could use in your art journaling. And all these are little, all these little boxes or sections of text are little tips and inspiration. Isn't it, isn't it nice? Is it, am I the only one that likes this? <laughs> and now we're going to the other now we're going the other way. So now we're going from the other direction. So I'm just going to flip the other way. <clears throat> but again, everything you see here are little boxes of inspiration. And uh, here's some things on beauty and makeup and some house things. Whoops, I missed it. More quotes and little boxes of just colorful art. I know, right? It's so pretty, Devin. 
And I mean, it's just so much. I mean, it's just one of those magazines you can just sit and just enjoy the eye candy of it, right? Oops. So I thought y'all might like to take a little peruse of this one because there's just so much. It's just like packed full. So yeah, origin goes this way and this way. So half one way and half the other. Hi, Abigail. I showed your uh, I showed your zine and your candy. Everybody's wanting it. <laughs> uh, thank you again. Your zine was awesome, and I can't. I I didn't eat any candy yet because I wanted to open it on camera. So I opened it and showed it. If y'all missed it here. This is my little box of chocolates from the Netherlands that Abigail sent. Isn't it awesome? <laughs> and thank you for participating in the zine swap. Okay, so now let's get down to business of why we are going to our project today. So I have... Um, I have black paper, white paper, and craft paper to do our testing on, okay? And I, now this is my 150 set of Prisma that I have in a case here, right? But um, I did price out the difference between Prisma color, and I think I need to click one out for at least for a minute. Let's see here. There we go. The Prisma color and the Amazon premium color pencils. So it's been said, I'm going to find out that the Amazon basics premium color pencils are comparable to the Prismacolor. These apparently have been out two years and, you know, I guess I was living under a rock, but anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm going to do a comparison. First off, now, again, these are 150 here, but a 72 set of Prismacolor right now on Amazon is going for $45. These for 72 are 29. So right there, you know, it's about, you know, something about half price. Now, they don't have 150 in these colors. The Prismacolor has more colors. They have 150. These Amazon Basics have uh, 72. If y'all have any questions, put it in cap so I know you're talking to me. Let me get a sip of juice. And I did tell everybody that go over to your to your Facebook page, Abigail, and see your art and stuff. Oh, you're going to get your cute and creepy color book tomorrow, Hedgie? Uh, that's fun, isn't it? Yeah, I've, I've posted them all on Instagram if y'all want to see my cute and creepy uh, pages that I've done. If we, depending on how much time we have, if uh, we run out of time doing the test here, then I'll go and show you the cute and creepy and work in that. Okay. Okay, so let's go on. It came, it came packaged really well. It did have plastic shrink wrap on it. And it came in a box, in a, in a, you know, a small box and inside the larger box. So it came packaged really well. So there we go. This is what the tin looks like. And, of course, all pencils come in these cheesy little plastic trays, right? Now, I will say, once I show these to you guys, they will not live in this box. They will live, live in a rubber band or I'll have to get, depending on how much I like them, they'll go in a in some kind of a, a, you know, case like this. But I never keep pencils in the boxes like this. But uh, it comes in a nice, let me take them both out. You can see, has a nice, on the back, it shows all the, and I'm not sponsored, no Amazon, nobody sponsored me. I bought them to show you guys a comparison. So 72 color pencils. And then there's all the numbers and the colors on the back there, which I don't even have my Prismacolor ones uh, memorized. And I've had, I've used Prismacolors for uh, way, 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 way long time. 
Okay, so here's the 72 colors, and they always look so pretty when they're new, <laughs> don't they? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick maybe a yellow, orange, red, blue, green, black, and white, and uh, I'm going to pu pull the closest that I can come to in my Prismacolor to those colors. So let's get a nice bright yellow. Let's see. So it does have the name and the number, like this is lemon yellow. Okay, and I'll, I'll zoom in when I start coloring and stuff, but I just want to kind of show you the overall thing. So uh, it has Amazon Basics on it, lemon yellow, number 503 um, <clears throat> on, the, on the pencil. So I'll pick a yellow, and the, I'm going to pick the brightest ones, like a bright orange. This is just called orange. And then red, let's see which red do I want. Do I want... Scarlet, let's go with scarlet, although I usually like a darker red. Geranium red, I'll, maybe I'll pick two reds. <clears throat> and let's see, a purple, let's go with, do I just have, yeah, just a regular violet. And then, of course, I love a teal, so we got a couple of teals. Let's see what this one is. Bluegrass or... Do I want light blue? I think I'll go with bluegrass because with blue, I'll go with a regular blue. All right, so this one's just called blue. Okay, I'm going to go with the basic color so we can just compare them. Okay. <clears throat> Bye, Becky. Okay, let us know on your back surgery. Take care of yourself. Message me and let me know. Okay, so then we also have this teal. Let's see. This one is... Cerulean. Okay, so maybe I'll pull a couple. And I don't know which ones I'll use here yet. I'm going to pull. And there's turquoise green. So I'll, I'll just pull a few and then we'll pick which ones. Okay, so I always like to check out the, um, this is lime green. I think it's, uh, what's it called in, what do you call it? Cere is it cerulean? What's it called? Lime peel, I think is what it's called in uh, Prismacolor. Um, then let's see, let's get black and white, there's white, black, and, um, well, we'll just start with these, because this is, this is probably going to take longer than we can do anyway. Oh, wait, I need a regular green. Uh, let's see, grass green. Okay, so, and I'll tell you, when I'm showing the colors, I'll tell the name of these and the name of the Prismacolor. So, I'm just going to set this aside for now. All right, so now let's go ahead and pick out my colors here. That's bright. I think I might need to turn off the overhead light. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Wednesday is, okay. Be here Wednesday. Surgery is Thursday. Okay, let me write that down. <clears throat> Okay. Thanks, Becky. All right. So let's get a black and a white here. I got a black and a white. And, and I'll just kind of make two. Let's put some in between. There we go. And I'll write them down. I'm going to write it down on the list. Okay. All right. So then yellow. Let's get a nice bright ye lemon yellow. So let's see. Is this lemon yellow? I want to try to get the closest colors as I can. Okay. That's pretty close. Okay, lemon yellow, and I'll have to probably sharpen them. All right, let's see. Then this one is <clears throat> lime green. So let's get, uh, I think the closest is chartreuse. It's a little bit lighter than, than the Amazon one, but there's not one that's, if I go one darker, it's going to be way darker. It will be, um, yeah. And now I'm going to go with the lime. Okay, then we got grass green. So let's go find the grass green here. This is it. That's true green. Let's see, grass green. I'm trying to find the closest to it. That's too dark. I think that will be. They're a little, just a little different. Okay, that might be the closest. They're just a little shade off from each other. 
All right, then violet. <clears throat> Hang on, I'm looking. No, oh, this in here, violet. Okay, this the Prismacolor violet. What's called violet is way darker than their violet. Let's see what's the closest color I can find to their violet. Is it this one? No. Well, maybe. I think that's closer. Well, I'll pull those two violets, a light and a dark. It's kind of in between. Okay. Um, all right. Let's see. Red. I got scarlet and I got um, geranium. Well, that, I couldn't have done that again. All right. Let's see. So we'll go with scarlet. Poppy red is... A little orange. Let's see. I'm trying to compare them for you guys. Okay, Scarlet Lake is more like the color of geranium. And then the poppy or the scarlet is more like the poppy red. Okay, it's a little oranger. Then, of course, we have orange. So let's see. Let's compare the oranges. I think that's just a tiny bit. Let's see which one. More of that color. Hang on. It's pretty close. Yeah, I think that's better. Okay, so the orange in the Prisma color, that's the closest. It's called orange. Okay. The barrels are just different colors. Are right, y'all still with the tour? We're going to zoom in when I start going here. Okay, then I got um, blue, just regular blue. No, this is engrossing, isn't it? Okay, so this blue, I might have to compare a couple because none of them really look like uh, the exact blue. We'll test that out. This is uh, ultramarine, no, Indian, Indian? What? I'm not sure. Indian blue? It looks a little, the, the blue, this one looks a little more blue-green. Neither one, none of these blues look exactly the right, just by looking at the tip. Let's see. Maybe that one, which is, nope, that's dioxin purple. We'll, we'll go with that. We'll see what happens. Okay, then we got three shades of teal. So let's see what we got here. We have aquamarine, which is close to their cerulean. Then I have oh, this one maybe. It's close. So then I have aquamarine, which is kind of in between these two. Let's close this one. Okay, so it's kind of in between those two. All right, so we'll see about that one to the side. Okay, Dee, Dee can you check the core? Yeah, I'm, I'll get way for it, Sandy. We're just picking colors now. Wait for it. <laughs> You're getting ahead of me. <laughs> I will. I'm going to show you the cores. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Sandy. <laughs> we will look. Okay. So let's go ahead and zoom in again. All right. <clears throat> let's see how our color looks. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. So I am going to kind of, I want to kind of let y'all see while we're doing this. All right. So I'm going to kind of divide these up here. And we're going to have the Amazon on the left and the Prisma on the right, except I'll I'll set these three because the um, Prisma color is kind of in between the two aqua colors here. So we'll see if we get to that because I think we have enough here to do a test. 
All right, so what we're going to do is I've got some black paper, some white paper, and some craft paper, and we're going to show on all three. Is that flashing out? Do I, I want to be zoomed in enough for you guys to see everything. So let's see. <clears throat> I think that's pretty good. What do y'all think? Do I need to focus? Let's autofocus again. Okay. Oh, no, it's all right, Sandy. <laughs> just teasing. I know. I'm just fine. No, no, no. You're fine. All right. So before I get crack a lack and now I pick pencils, let me just make sure that they're sharpened enough to start. So I'm just going to sharpen my Prismacolor. The Amazon, they come sharpened. So I'm just going to sharpen the ones that are not 100% here. <laughs> That's all right, Sandy. Let's see. Because I want to compare them. Let's resharpen that one a little. All righty. So let's see. So we're going to start with black and white. Because, you know, white white is one of those colors that there's never been another a better white than Prismacolor white, in my opinion. And I have Holby's, Polly's. Um, what's the other one? Anyway, I have all the different ones. And Prismacolor White is just the best, in my opinion. Y'all can take it for what you want here. All right, so how should I do this? Maybe I should, let's do it this way. Let's do the Amazon up here. Now I'm going to have to, because I want y'all to see all the colors just a little bit anyway. Now let me put some here to make it stay so they don't roll away. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing for the Prismacolors down here. All right, so now let's do this. Not that this matters so much, but we'll just, so we know where we're pulling from. All right, let me get a Sharpie marker. Okay, so these are the Amazon Prisma. All right. And then what I'll do here is we're going to try all the colors on different pieces of paper. So what we'll do is, hang on, let me, do, let me separate this out. So Amazon. And we've done this kind of testing before with other pencils. And then... All right, so now we have our charts made. <laughs> um, Scrap Girl, for 72 pencils, the Prisma colors, right now on Amazon, the Prismas for 72 are $45, and the Amazons for 72 are $29. Now, of course, that can change. You know, Amazon has sales and, you know, different things and Prime and, you know, different things like that. Okay. Oh, you're welcome, Mary. We'll see how it goes. Hi, Crafty Cat. What is the paper GSM? I have no idea. This is just some uh, just some regular like uh, cards. I mean, uh, printer paper, cardstock, cardstock. I wanted it for color. You know, it's just you know, it's not shiny. It's just I don't know. They're just regular cardstock. Okay, so let's see here. The, the point is, is it's going to be tested the same, whether you use, you know, cardstock, printer paper, cardstock, they're both going to be the same. Uh, let's see. Julie says, I made videos, sent them to cancel. Okay, she's not talking to me. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, do the white and the black. So let's start with the white, the Amazon. All right, let's test the cores. Okay, so the core so far in the white, the Amazon is a little thicker. You can see. I'll tell. I'll look at a couple different ones, but there you can see. There's the core. The pencils are just a little fatter. Can y'all see how it's just a little fatter pencil? Try and move my hand out of the way. I can't move my hand out of the way and show it up and tilt it up. Uh, you'll just have to look at it like that. So there we go. 
Okay, so the pencil itself seems just a slightly, but maybe I'm being fooled because the core is a little thicker. I'm not sure that the pencil itself is. I don't have, uh, my ruler is probably not going to be de uh, small enough to really tell. Let's get a mm. Let's see if I can tell if it's any difference. I think they're the same size, actually. I think the, the pencil themselves are the same uh, width, you know, so, so, circular, and, um, you know, cylindrical. <laughs> I think they're the same. It just It's just kind of fooling us because it has um, a thicker core. All right, so that's, let's look at another color. Let's look at, uh, let's look at something. Let's look at, I want to be able to see it. Let's look at the yellow. Okay. Yeah, so the core is just a little thicker. Just, I mean, it's not that much. And it's more obvious on the white. Let's see. Here, let's do another. Let's do the teal color. Yeah, it's just, a, I think it's just a little thicker. Not, it's not a whole lot. I think the white's the best way to tell. And because the Prismacolor wood, the wood is darker, <laughs> you know, it, it kind of throws, it kind of gives you a, what do you call it, a optical illusion. Okay. So Carol said she didn't like the Amazon Basics. Well, I've never tried them, so we're going to try them today. Oh, uh, let's see what else. Yeah, we'll get to a crafty cat. <laughs> Show the blending. We're going to do, wait for it, wait for it. We're doing them just one thing at a time. <laughs> you girls, I saw you just like, <laughs> okay, so let's, <laughs> let's do the Amazon. And of course, I'm not going to do it on the white paper, but we'll do it on the black. And on the, um, on the, and I have a few, I have a couple sheets here. So I have some, um, you know, padding, a little bit of padding here. All right. So here we go. All right. So let's do the Amazon and I'm going to give it hard pressure and then fade it out. So hard. And I'll tell you how they feel. All right. To me already, this feels harder. The lead feels harder. Okay, when I push down, because I know how the Prisma feels. The Prismas are much uh, softer feeling for the white, and it also, to me, looks whiter. But nothing's as white as a Prisma color. And I gave it both hard pressure. This is hard pressure, as hard as I can push on it. And I'm hoping y'all are going to be able to see a difference. I'm not sure if you can or not. Can y'all see? Maybe I should do them closer together. Maybe I should do them closer together. Would that be better? Maybe it would. Maybe I should be going this way with them. Let's try that, okay, because I think it might be better to see. Okay, so. Okay, let's, let's cover up the white for now because it won't be one. Okay, so the Prisma. And it's more, um, you, can, you can see it a little bit more textury. This is almost more, I don't know if I want to call it flat. But can you see the texture difference there? Okay, let's try it on craft color paper. And again, I'm giving it real hard, hard pressure and then softening it and softening it and softening it. I'm going to sharpen. Hang on. The hard pressure is making it sharpen. I have to sharpen. Okay, so right off, the, the prismas are softer. 
and I'm having to sharpen it more because it, it wears down quicker because it's a softer lead, right? And I say lead, not that there's any lead in it, <laughs> but the pigment, okay? All right, so let's make this go up just a little farther. Okay, I can tell when I'm using them. This is a harder pencil. It almost feels like a polychromos. It feels like a harder lead. Okay, Prismacolor is softer and more mashability. And this is on a more of a texture, right? But you can see the white of the Prisma is just much whiter. But that's true of almost any, I mean, the Holbeins, which are what? The most expensive pencil there is. The Holbeins or the, uh, not the, what's the other one? The Holbeins and the, uh, well, I'm forgetting the other one. The uh, the third one that I had, had the Holbeins of Polly's and the, what is the other one? Somebody will tell me. But anyway, even amongst the Lumis, the Luminance, even amongst those those other ones, the, the Prisma white is, is the most white, okay? And even if I use um, Polly's, Lumi's, or Holby's, I still use the Prisma white because the Prisma white's just the whitest. Okay, there you can see it right there. See how that's kind of shiny? I don't know what how to describe it. See how it's kind of not textury like this. It's kind of flat and shiny like. Yes, much crafty cat. Yeah, luminance. Thanks, Abigail. Uh, yeah, the Prisma color for seventy two right now on Amazon is forty five. The Amazon Basics for seventy two is twenty nine dollars. Now, are these terrible? Well, so far, not terrible. But it's going to depend on what you're going to use them for. We're going to do some blending in a minute uh, and compare that, okay? But um, if you're just going to be doing color booking, you know, uh, maybe we should some do, do a comparison between the Crayola and the Amazon to see um, the difference there. Um it, you know, if you're just going to do color books or a little bit of shading on top of some marker or something like that, you know, it depends on what you're going to use it for, you know. Yeah, thank you, Pacola's putting links in. All right, so there's the white. Now let's test the black on the white paper and on the cardstock. So this will be the Amazon and then the Prism. Let me go, I got it all right, so now we're going to test, and I'll just keep going down here as far as we can go, and then I'll make another column. All right, so there's the white. All right, now let's get the black Prisma and the black Amazon. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing here. I know this is going to sound weird. But the black feels softer than the white from the Amazon. It feels softer. It doesn't feel that hardness as much as the white did. Okay, so here's the Prisma. It's still waxier. You can just feel the wax. You can feel the softness. You can feel the wax. Now, will you be able to tell on this cardstock on camera? I don't know, but um, you can feel the waxiness and the softness when you put hard pressure. All right, babe, you're going to have to get down. I can't do it right now, baby. Sorry. I have to get down. I can't do pencil testing with the cat on top of the table. Okay. So let's do the Amazon on the white paper. And this is just copy paper. Oh, thanks, Pacola. She's putting links to both pencil sets. Yeah, right now for 72, Julie. I checked this. Oh, baby, come on. You gotta get I can't do it. Um, hang on, guys. I draw my pencil. Um, right now on Amazon, as of this morning when I checked, the 72 prismas, not the 150. The 150 is way more. 
the 72 set is 45 95 or something like that and the the amazons are 29 okay yeah well in australia i'm sure you're paying shipping that's what's is in shit you're paying shipping in australia julie okay so now let's do it on the white paper all right so again hard pressure and then going into soft. And then we'll do the Prisma. It's just so, it's just, it's just like a softer. It's, I, I can't describe it any better than that. It's just a softer pencil. Okay. Not that these are horrible so far. I'm trying to kind of get them the same. But I can tell, because I've used Prismas for so long, these are just a harder pencil. The, it, it's just a harder, it just feels harder. It's not as soft. Okay. All right. So there's the black on white paper. Again, you may or may not be able to tell. But here's, a, here's kind of what, if you can kind of see, see how wide the softness, the, the pencil gets, it's wider. This stays thinner because it's harder. So it stays thinner lines. This starts getting softer and softer because it's thicker and softer. Okay. All right. So let's see now. Let's try yellow. And I'm not sure if I got the exact yellows. I got them as close as I can. I got the two that are the closest. Although the um, Amazon one is a little more, I don't want to say dull. It's not quite as bright as this one. And I tried to pick the same as close as I can. They're both called lemon yellow. They're both lemon yellow. All right. So let's try the, let's try the uh, Amazon here. On the, on the, am I zoomed in enough? Yeah, they do. They, well, we'll see when we get to the color she spins. Yes, yeah, she, she spins is saying looks more pigmented. I can't really tell with black and white yet. Well, the white Prisma is always the best white of all the pencils, in my opinion. So just comparing the white's not really fair because it's better than even the Holbies or the Lumies. Okay. But, um, <clears throat> oh, I'm sure, Amanda, that they're fine for kids to get started in art for $29 for 72 pencils. You know, like I said, I've just used Prismas all my life. So am I, do I need to zoom in more? I'm not sure. I'm trying to hold them up to you. Maybe that's a little better. I don't want to lose clarity. I don't want to lose clarity. Let me maybe uh, refocus. Let's autofocus again. I don't want to lose the clarity by zooming in too much. Okay, that might be okay. If it looks fuzzy to you guys, I'll zoom back out. Let me move the camera over this way just a tad. Hang on, guys. When you're zooming in on something really close, you try to have it as clear as you can. Uh, to me too, Julie S. Yeah, Prismas are amazing and totally worth it. Yeah. Okay, so let's try the yellow now. Okay. This isn't really doing much for you guys because you can't see the pencils. <laughs> All right. So let's do the Amazon in yellow. And this is on, the, you know, it's not going to look that bright on craft color, right? And then let's see the Prisma. And I just want to make sure I'm doing the right pencils. Okay, so you can see. All right, let's do it on black. Okay. And I'm pushing as hard as I can. <laughs> when I say hard pressure, I'm pushing as hard as I can and then softening it out. <coughs> Let me get a sip of juice. All right. Now let's go to Prisma. So you can see it is, <clears throat> the pigment is laying down 
more. It is, it's more pigmented, at least in the laying down of it. <coughs> All right, let's go over here to the white paper. And this may be hard to tell uh, with a light yellow. Okay, well, let me make it that a little bit bigger. Can y'all see the difference? Crafty Cat, probably not. I, I won't have time not to show all those and these. So, <clears throat> again, I'm not sure if the, the, you can see it looks like it's, it looks like the, the pencil is bigger, but I'm not sure that it's actually bigger. It's just that the pigment is bigger just slightly bigger. So it makes it look like the pencil is bigger, but I don't feel like the pencil is, you know, if, if it is, it's such a small millimeter that it's really hard to tell. I'm trying to feel the weight of them. I don't know. I can't really tell a difference in that. Yeah, Amazon's not as pigmented. We're going to try some more colors. Okay, so let's try, uh, let's try a cup to the two reds that I pulled. Okay, so I've got the two Prisma. Let's go this way. All right, so let's start with the orange or red, the scarlet red. Okay, so here's the Amazon, okay. Scarlet red, which is a little bit more orangey. And then the Prismacolor, which by hard pressuring, I snapped the point. Okay, let's try it on the, and I'll, I'll hold them all up closer. Make sure I got the right, yeah. I can just feel it as a harder pencil. It just doesn't want to, it's that the Prisma is just softer. And that's not a, and it, well, it's pretty good comparison. I mean, they, they seem pretty close in those colors. All right, let's do it over here. And I got to sharpen my Prisma color because it wear the Prisma colors do wear down faster because um, it's a softer pencil to me. Okay, so here we're gonna do it on black. Is this helpful? I don't know. It is. I hope so. Okay, there's the, there's the scarlet. You can really tell on the black. It's really, you know, you can really see the difference in the pigmentation on the uh, black paper. All right, now let's do the other red, which I'm comparing the um, Scarlet Lake with the geranium red okay i tried to pick the ones that were as close the, this the scarlet lake prisma is just a little lighter than the geranium but it was darker than their uh, other red but let's see if we can do that okay so now here is the amazon let me mark this off here Because we're going across this way now. Okay. <clears throat> See how it snapped the point? Because I pushed as hard as I could. Okay. So now let's do it on the white paper. I'm just having to put even more pressure to get it as dark as I possibly can. I'm, it, I feel like I'm having to put more, more weight behind it to get that hard pressure because the pencil feels harder. Even though I'm putting, you know, trying to bear down as much as I can on both colors, it feels like I have to put more, more weight behind the Amazon. Okay, so now let's do it over here on the red. I mean, on the black, on the red. OK. 
Okay. All right. Okay. Hang on, guys. I'll be right back. I have to take a quick break. All that juice I'm drinking. Hang on. I'll be right back. Let me close the doors. The cats don't jump up there. Okay, sorry, I usually don't need to take a break, but I've been drinking lots of juice. Now let me get my hands completely dry. Um, let's see. No, it's not construction pencil. And hi, pencil for life, Brad. No, it's uh, this is just copy paper. This is cardstock. I don't even I don't even think I own any construction paper. And this is cardstock. This is even heavier. This probably feels like about 110 weight. And I'm guessing this is just copy paper. And this is probably 90 weight black, black cardstock, maybe 65, but I think it's about a 90. Okay. All right. Now let's keep going. And, uh, all right, let's test let's test a purple and a blue and then we'll do some blending because I think we're getting the idea here, right? All right, let me just let me make some new sheets because we're gonna we're running out of space. All right, where's my wife? <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna do Amazon Prisma. <clears throat> Hang on, guys. I'm really zoomed in. Okay. Okay. So now we have another, another sheet for the next colors. And then we'll do blending, okay? Then we'll do some blending. All right. So let's do let's do a tealy blue color. So I try to get the two that were the closest. Although let's see the Amazon. Yeah, I think this is going to be the closest of the two. Uh, Amazon has a little bit of shade difference. One's a little greener. One's a little bluer but none of them are the exact colors of the Prisma color. All right, so for the Amazon, this one is Cerulean. And again, I'm, it, I can just feel that the pencil is harder. Okay, then the Prisma, I'm not sure this might be too green. It's the closest I can give. It's just so soft and creamy. Okay, let's do it over here. I'm not saying that the Amazon ones are horrible. I should I should compare it to a a, a Crayola because Crayolas are harder than Prisma. See, I broke that lid. <laughs> push so hard. It pushed so hard. Yeah, we're not doing Copic markers. I'm not doing markers. Uh, these are pencils, Dominic. This is not coat. This is not markers. These are pencils. Okay, so maybe let's see another Amazon color. See, I don't have another Amazon color that might even be comparable. Maybe it's kind of the Prisma color is kind of in between those two colors. Okay, so that's the Amazon. Okay, so now let's go over to the black so 
you can just see they're a little bit different shade but I try to get the closest ones. Okay. All right. Now let's do uh, let's do the lime green. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! That's not right. Wrong one. Hang on. <laughs> I could tell right off. can really tell a difference here and one and the Amazon is just a little darker when what they're calling their um, lime color but I think that's the closest I have in uh, let's test this one yeah so maybe let me show you the Prisma color maybe that's a better comparison to the two so let's put that one to the side so this one is lime peel in Prisma, and this is lime green on the Amazon. So there's two different shades of the Prisma color, but I think these two are the closest. All right, so now let's go over here to the white paper. Oops. And again, I'm putting as hard a pressure as I can. That's why I'm snapping the Prisma color. And see the lime color, the other lime color. So the Amazon is kind of in between those two. All right. So let's do the Amazon. And now let's do the two shades of this one. Oops. There's the Prisma color. That looks the closest there. Okay. All right. Now let's do let's do a blue and a purple. Then we'll do a little shading. Okay. So the blues that I picked here, I can tell that the blue from the Amazon. Let's do it on the white first. And it could just be that the the barrel is and it just looks darker than the blue of the prisma and then here's the prisma can y'all see the texture that it leaves it's just a softer pencil okay amazon on the craft color and the prisma color. It's probably not going to show up very much on the black. Yeah, I won't do it on there because you won't see it. Okay, let's do a purple. These are as close as I could get, I think. The Amazon is called Violet, and the it's the lighter violet in the Prisma color. All right, let's do the Amazon first. And then the Prisma. It's just so it's just so softer and creamier. They're just softer and creamier. Let's test that on the black if it will show up. Oops. Got the paper. Yeah, you can really tell a difference there. <clears throat> All right. All right, now let's do some blending. All right, let's do um Let's do a yellow and an orange. Let's do the yellow and an orange. Because I haven't even tested the orange. Oh, no, let's do a yellow and a red. Let's do the scarlet maybe and see what kind of orange we can get with it. I should do the darker reds. So we'll do the darker reds, what Amazon calls geranium and scarlet lake in Amazon. And then the lemon yellows in the 
both of them are called lemon yellows. And I can sharpen my Prismacolor. See, I haven't even had to sharpen the Amazons yet because they're a harder pencil. They're not wearing down as quickly as the Prismacolor because the Prismacolor is just softer. Okay, so look, I haven't had to sharpen the Amazons at all. And I've had to sharpen the Prismacolors two or three times when I bear down. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's go back over here to this one because I've got the red and yellow on here. <clears throat> um, yeah, uh, Pacola, just, you know, you can just feel, I mean, of course, you know that. Feel free to kick anybody. My mods have full control of what goes on in chat. If you're coming in here to spam or if you're just coming in here to be trolling, you'll get kicked out. They have, you know, they don't have to ask my permission. <laughs> okay, so here, let's go ahead and try the um, Prisma yellow. And, well, let's do this. Let's do this. So we can just keep our... And the Prisma. And then we'll do it also on the white. Let me put a few sheets under there so it's kind of got a little cushion because this is thin. This is where we're going to do some blending. And then we'll also do it on the black. Okay. All right. So we're, what we're going to try to do is blend our yellow and red to get an orange. Let's start with the white. All right. So I'm going to start with the Amazon yellow and red. <clears throat> and let's see how we can blend to get a uh, orange. All right. So I'm going to start first. Here, what we're going to do here is that I'm going to put hard pressure and then soft pressure. And then I'm going to start from the bottom here and work my way up. And then we're going to try to, we're going to try to blend. I'll try going both ways. And I'm going to try my best to blend as nicely as I can. The, the, the Amazon is, is, I'm not saying it doesn't feel scratchy when you're doing it, but you can tell the lines in the, in the pay on the paper are showing more than, um, and I'm trying to be as gentle as I can. I keep tw twisting the pencil to get a, you know, get a little duller edge so that I can not have sharp lines. You'll see when I hold it up, I'm trying to blend and get a nice orange color. And I'm going back and forth. But the Amazon wants to be scratchy. All right, let's see if you can see. Can you see how that's kind of scratchy? I'm going to hold this. Can you see the little lines that makes it want to be kind of scratchy looking? Bye, Devin. Okay, get ready for work. Okay, you have a good one too. Hi, Shiny Lane. All right, now let's try the Prismacolor. And again, I'm going to do the same thing on a hard pressure and then soften in the middle. And then I'll hard pressure on the bottom and work my way up. But the Prisma colors are just, they're just softer. They're not making the same scratchy lines. And I'm just going to go back and forth here. and try to softly blend. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell. It's just that these are softer. That's just the only way to describe it. 
They're just waxier and softer. This was hard to do. This was a hard one to, that was hard to blend. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> it's a hard one to blend. Let's try a couple other colors. I think we'll just do it on white because it shows the brightness of the color. All right, let's do, um, we haven't used green, regular green. Let's try a, a, a light green and a dark green. The lime peel colors. All right, let me sharpen again. Let me sharpen this green. That may be too close of a color. Maybe I need to do something. Let's go back with uh, maybe the yellow and the green. Oh, let's do yellow and blue. Let's do yellow and blue, see if we can get a green. And I want to try to get the same colors again. Um, these are the two. What were the two colors? Let me find my two blues that I use. Oh, that's the purple. I want purple. So I think these are the two. See. It's going to test here. Yeah, okay. These are the two. Now let me sharpen the... Um, I think I do have the Arteza pencils, actually. <laughs> I think I did, Chatelaine. I think I did do a test with the Arteza pencils. I did. I did. I don't know if there's a video. There should be a video because I wouldn't have done it myself. I would have done it on camera. I'm not sure. Um, oh gosh, it's, it would have been at least a year ago that I'd done the Arteza pencils, so I'm not sure. I, I I'm, I'm not sure if there's a video for it. I'm pretty sure there's a video. And I want to do a little bit of a test with the Crayola ones, just because they feel the uh, Amazon ones almost feel as hard. Not that the not that the uh, Crayola ones are real hard. They're not like a polychromos or the like the real a hard pencil. So, um, okay, let's see. Let's test the blue and the yellow. Okay, so let's get the Prisma color and the Amazon. Okay. All right. So let's start with the yellow again. Hard pressure, and then soft, and then the blue. Okay, then let's do the, I'll, I'll blend them here in a minute. I'm just going to get lay them down. The Prismas are just so soft. They're just so soft. Okay, there's the initial quick, not blend yet. Yeah, they are less, they're less pigmented. It, well, for me, it's not even so much the it, well, it is the pigment, but it's the softness. They're just not as soft. Okay, now let's go this way with them. Let's do a little start to try to do a nice soft blend. I'm trying to trying to keep it real soft. See, but when I go real light, when I when I touch real lightly on the paper with the base with the uh, Amazon. It, it leaves lines. It leaves, look, can y'all see those little lines there? I don't know if it's showing. See, I'm trying to go as light as I can, but when I have a soft touch with them, when I have a soft touch with them, scratchy is the only way I can describe it. They're kind of scratchy. And the yellow more so, I mean, the blue more so than the yellow. Okay, so now let's do the Prisma. I'm trying to keep a soft touch, as light touch as I can. You can really tell on this one. So there we go. That's a hi, Kenny. All right, let's go ahead and do a yellow and blue. Let me move my Prisma colors out. Let's do a yellow and blue in Crayola. Now let me find my Crayolas up here. Hang on. 
<clears throat> Got them here somewhere. I don't know where to find them. I know I got some Crayola ones up here somewhere. Hang on. Let me find them. Are these Crayola? Do I have them or did I give them away? Did I give my Crayola ones away? I don't have, guys. Oh, no. Here we go. There's some. All right. Let's go with the blue. All right. Let's see. That's navy blue. Let me try to find one color. That's too dark. Let me find a Crayola that's comparable to that blue. There we go. All right, there's a Crayola blue and a lemon yellow. Let's get the... That's too dark. I think this one. Okay. All right, so now I got the Crayola ones. Let's compare the Crayola ones. All right, so Crayola, Crayola. All right. <clears throat> uh, people, crafty. Some people like Polychromos for layering, but I like Prisma for blending. So you can do you can do different ways to mix colors. You can layer and you can blend. Polys are probably the best for layering. Prismas are the best to me for blending. Yeah, see, Candy said polys for layering too. Okay, so, all right, so now let's do the, let me write here. All right. Okay, so, so I can tell you right now, Crayola is already softer than the Amazon. They're not as soft as uh, Prisma. but it's also not making a very good green by, by mixing. This was the least. This is a little better, but look, it's not making, it's, it doesn't want to, it wants to layer more than blend, Crayola. But the Crayolas are softer. They're still softer than the um, Amazon. Retro, you want to see a, a comparison of what ones? You're hoping I do a comparison soon. So of which pencils, Retro? The, the Amazon and the Prisma? I'm not sure. Okay, so all right, now y'all have, if you have any questions, let me move these Crayola ones back over to the side here because I didn't really want to do a whole bunch of that one today. But I wanted to really concentrate on the... And I have done videos on the Holby. I think I did one on the Holbys, the Lumies, and the Polys. Or one of two of those with the Prisma. It's been some year. It's been a year, maybe two, maybe three years. Y'all have to go back and look in my um, playlist because I'm not sure when I did those uh, tests with the Polly's, Lumies, and Holbies. But I wanted to do the Amazon ones because they were so inexpensive. Um, I, Crafty Cat, I go live every Monday, Wednesday at 9 a.m. Eastern, but I usually come on about 8.30 to say hi and chat and talk a little bit before we start a project. But I'm here every Monday and Wednesday. And then Janet and I started doing a Thursday at 10 Eastern 
guest show, but it's kind of an impromptu. It's when we have a guest. Right now, Janet's waiting on her new camera, so she can't even stream today. She usually streams after me, um, but she's waiting on a new camera. But I stream every Monday and Wednesday, 9 a.m. Eastern, and then the occasional Thursday whenever Janet and I can get a guest together, and we do a Thursday at 10 a.m. Thank you, Pacola. <laughs> there we go. Pacola's just like this. I mean, it's just like that. Uh, on those links and stuff. Thank you. Thank you, Pacola. And I think sometimes Julie and Janet are just off in the corner talking. No I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, uh, I hope y'all got some comparisons. So, do y'all have any questions now about the pencils? Or let me back out a little so you can kind of see maybe uh, a little better, kind of far away. Crayola for your great granddaughter. I was considering Amazon. Yeah, I, it seems like if you're going to just get them for kids, get the Crayola ones. They're good. The Crayola ones are good. They're softer to me. They seem softer than the Amazon ones. I mean, Amazon ones aren't terrible. To me, they're just, I'm so used to doing soft pencils with the, uh, with the Prisma. It's hard for me to get used to even polychromos. I like them. Don't get me wrong. Polychromos has some different colors. So do Holbys and Lumis. But when you get up to the Holbys and the, the Holbines and the Luminance, they're expensive, guys. You'll pay, you'll pay $350 for a set of those. They're very expensive. And unless you're doing, you know, professional por portraits or something like that, you're not going to... You you know, you're probably not going to get their, your money's worth out of them if you're not using them professionally. If you just want to color in your color books, I wouldn't recommend getting Holbys and Lumies. I mean, unless you just have money to spend. You know? But um, so, all right. So let's see. Yeah. So Chatelaine, I feel the Amazon ones, they're fine. They're more comparable to Crayola than they are to Prisma. Because the Prismas are just so soft and waxy. They're so soft and waxy. Let's see if we can do a comparison of shine now. Let's see if we can get any shines on them. I don't know if we can get any. I'm looking at them, and I see I see the Amazon has their wax pencils, too. I can see the shine to them. But they're just not as soft. I don't know what Prisma has the corners the market on softness. I'm just saying. <laughs> Uh, uh, the blending of yellow and blue into the green is a Prisma Plus. Yeah, yeah. It is, and the reason they're not blending as well is because their hardness, they're scratchy. I mean, can you see? Can you see the the lines in that pencil? Is hard. It's a hard pencil, unless I have hard pressure. But trying to do a soft, light touch. To blend. See, I can do a soft light touch here. These just don't want to do it. Yeah, Janet goes, just to save up and buy the Prismas and be happy. <laughs> but I wanted to do a uh, comparison for you guys. All right. So now I think what I'll do is I'm going to, and I'll separate all these pencils later. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to take the time to do that now. All right, so let me stack these samples up here. These are some extra. All right, so let's go over to, and I'll show you the page. I'll show you what I'm working in in Cute and Creepy. And uh, y'all know that I like to put a base of watered down acrylic paint, which is a, you know, I call it a, you know, it's a wash. It's a watered down, watered down uh, acrylic paint is a wash. And if you do a color book page like that and start with the wash, you can pencil over it and get that. There's a texture for your pencil Prismacolor to grab onto. Now the backgrounds, I like to, the backgrounds I like to do in 
um, just flat, like no water, no water to them. Let's turn the bright. There we go. That's a little better because it is light. The lights are bright there. There you go. You can see it better without it flashing out. So the black in the background, this is just black with no water. But some colors like lime green. Now this was this was uh, I wanted to water that down background, so it's a it's a nice flat wash. But on some, and again, black on the background there, black on the background there, uh, orange here. But some colors take two coats. If you're going to do a, a flat color background with no water, it, it can take two coats. And here's my example. Okay, this is the one I did yesterday and posted. So you can see the little fuzzy tiger cat. I think he, he was just like a grayscale cat, but I made him like a tiger cat looking into the pumpkin. And then I did all this with paint. Um, but if you want on certain colors, it might take two coats. So, for example, this one took two coats. This was a burnt orange. That took two coats. All right, here is my purple. This is the first coat with no water. A tutorial drawing. Um, I, I have a bunch. Look at my playlist, Crafty Cat. Yeah, look at my playlist. I, I have at one point, and I did uh, privatize a few during the, you know, not made for children videos. Um, but I have over a thousand videos. Hi, Kate. I have over a thousand videos and just look in my playlist. I have, I think what, Pacola, 15 or 20 playlists. I have color books, drawing, portraits, um, uh, Society of Idea Collectors. I've got tons of playlists. So if you want a specific thing, go check out my playlist. I have abandoned books, mixed media, art journals, uh, collage, collage cards. There's tons. Yeah, thanks, Kenny. Okay, so here is the purple di uh, purple dioxazine purple, I think is what it is. Yeah, dioxazine purple, is that how you say it? One coat of the purple does not, it's, it's still translucent. So see how it's kind of translucent? Well, obviously you can see it. Let me get a baby wipe. <laughs> So let's get a little brush here. So this is going to take two coats. This took two coats to cover this background. So certain colors are more translucent. Lime green, red, purple, this, this particular purple. Um, some are, are going to take two coats, even if you want it flat. So like I want this to be a flat purple, so I coated it once, and now it's dry. And now the second coat's going to cover just fine. But it does take a little minute, right? It's going to take an extra long minute to, um, to do a second coat. But I want, a, I want a nice flat purple. So I know that to get that, I'm going to have to do two coats. <clears throat> And I won't do the whole thing because I know y'all don't want to just see me do the background. But I want to show you how it covers. How it covers with uh, a second coat. And there's just some colors that are that way. Like I said, red, lime green. If you want it flat. If you just want a, like a splotchy color, then, then water it down. Yeah, I like the painted backgrounds too. Well, for one thing, it's quicker. Can you imagine trying to color this background with a purple pencil? You'd be here for some hours. <laughs> Even though I'm doing two coats, it's still a lot less time than it would be if you were doing this, doing this with pencil. And I, and I am hurrying a little bit for the, you know, the stream. You don't have to go, you know, just rush through and paint real fast. I'm just trying to get as much done as I can for the stream. <laughs> Candy, you're so cute.
The other advantage of having your pencil, I mean, your paint is what your pencil can do to go over it. So you can do glows and, sh and water and waves and mist and all kind of things with your color pencils on top of acrylic paint that you can't do with pencil on pencil. And I'm not being real, real careful around the crowns because I'm going to go in there. I'll probably use a gold for the crowns. So I'll use a gold pen, a gold gel pen or something like that for the, um, for the crown. So I'm not being real careful about not getting it on the little tips of the crown. And then the skulls, I'm going to go over them with white probably. Uh, I might shade them with the purple and then go over them with white. I'm not sure yet. So it won't... Uh, it won't matter so much because you can go over your acrylic paint with pencils. I might put a glow around the crowns. I don't know yet. I just started this one this morning before I came on stream. I painted the first coat of purple. So what's everybody else working on? Are y'all like Kalora? She's already gone for the from here for the day, but she is working on a, a collage pumpkin. Is anybody else doing any kind of Halloween? Are y'all working on the zines? And if y'all missed earlier, I did show the new zines this morning. The new Hallow zines that came in over the last couple days. And I'll go check out my post office box in the morning and see if I have any more to show you on Wednesday. Because I want to show them all. So the last day that um, I'd show them would be actually on Halloween, which I think is on a Wednesday. So I'll show the zines that I got. Um, any new ones that I haven't shown y'all, I'll show those on, on Halloween and then I'll send them out probably the next day or within a day or two because I, I got to finish my um, Insecto Insectober <laughs> poster, the background, and post that too. So, so you'll, can y'all see how that's nice and flat? I'm trying to paint the backgrounds on magazines. It really does help to mix. Yeah, Kate, doesn't it? And that's a good thing. Kate is, and it's funny because I call it a real art teacher. What I mean is she, she's an art teacher literally at a school. And uh, <laughs> um, that's a good project for, um, because magazines are so read readily available, Kate. It's a great way for the students to practice blending and matching colors because it's just a cheap magazine, <laughs> you know. And, of course, I just use acrylic paints. I don't know what y'all have available to you guys. But Kate, and I um, I think it was on Instagram, Kate put together a whole bunch of, like, art kits for her students, I guess, because was it because they weren't in school, Kate, and you put together bags of art supplies for them to take home and work from? Is that what those bags were from? Okay, so she has hundreds of magazines in the room. Yeah. So that's uh, that's easy for them to uh, practice their blending and their color matching. Because you just, you know, have magazines and you try to match the colors. And acrylic paint is just, you know, I just use the craft paint because you can get it so readily available. You know, one jar like this is like a dollar, you know. And uh, you can just save them up. And sometimes they have sales where they're 79 cents. And, um, and I just use craft paint because I want y'all to be able to be uh, able to have access to it. The other thing about craft paint is, as long as you get matte. Now, this is Americana, but you can get other brands, too. Just make sure it's a matte paint. Oh, you are 100% remote? Okay, because I saw you doing all those bags. Those bags of supplies. You have How many did you make? How many of those did you make, Kate? They were lined up down the hall. Um, but anyway, you don't want to use uh, metallic or gloss because your color pencils will not go over metallic and gloss. Now, you can hard pressure down over them, but you're not going to be able to blend and soft and do things with your pencils. You need matte, matte craft paint. Uh, let's see. Julie says she's doing October personal uh, TN. Um, traveler's notebook inserts and doing a comp book 
all of Dee gluing at least one thing to each page, 95%. It's, isn't it fun just to glue something to the page, Julie? And then you can go back and paint and blend and doodle on top. Let's see. Kate said both. Uh, she's got 11 gallons of black paint from Blick, 11 gallons of white, 11 gallons of red, yellow, blue. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She made 165 bags. Oh, my gosh, Kate. So, yeah, she had them lined. I saw it on Instagram, I think. She had them lined up down the hall. So she made those so that the kids could take them home so she could teach her remote art classes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you can't wait to start painting in it, Julie. Yeah, it's so fun. So what Julie's talking about, and I showed this a couple weeks ago when I was doing some art journaling in some of my art journals, is I would start with my art journals and, and just gluing stuff on every page, like a brand new one, rather than stopping and working on one thing. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just show, telling you that you can glue uh, one or two things, and I usually go by color. So um, I might have two or three colors uh, of one of something on a page and then I'll glue that down. Then I'll go to another page. I'll glue something down on that page and I'll keep gluing until my whole journal is filled with something on every page. And Julie's using a comp book. So you can use whatever kind of book you want. You know, art journal, sketchbook, you know, a hardback sketchbook or any kind of hardback journal or a softback Um what do you call it? Comp book. And then once you've got something glued on every page, then you can go in there with your paints and, and your, uh, you know, water soluble or your gesso or your whatever, your other mixed media. And you go in there and then start working on and building a world or just, just, it doesn't even have to be a world. You can just go in there and play on a page and start blending colors and, uh, blending your um, images in or just painting on them or writing or journaling or sketching or doodling. But I start with something on every page. Yeah, Kenny's going, oh my gosh, 106. Yeah, go look at Kate's, uh, uh, Kate the Skate's uh, Instagram and they're lined up down the hall. <laughs> It's really funny. Oh, my gosh. How long did it take you to put those together, Kate? It was a lot. 165 bags. That was a lot of work. Well, I wasn't going to do this whole background, but, you know, I got to talking and now we're almost done. I think I'm going to throw a pizza in the oven for me and Hubster for lunch. About 30 minutes. So I'll, I'll stay till 1130, guys. And I know Janet's not streaming again today because she doesn't have her camera. Okay, so there you go. So there's. Oh, you had other people helping you. It took four weeks. Oh, my gosh. Um, You're struggling really a lot with watercolors. Um, I would go Janet's got some videos on watercolor. Well, I mean, there's a lot of people that do, but Janet, uh, go look for hollyhocks or maybe Placola can put a link in there to Janet's holly or Janet can put a link in to her hollyhocks and a couple of different other ones that she's been working on with watercolor and flowers. Julie, let me clean my brush here. All right, I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. And maybe we'll do a little bit of uh, color on, maybe I'll work a little bit on the crowns. I know that I want the octopus to be a lighter purple or maybe a lavender and maybe her hair. I don't know if I want it all to be like a mo another monochromatic. Let me show you the pages. Well, let me, oh, I want to, I want to read from our 101 ways to be creative because I missed doing it last week. Let me dry this real quick so I can show you the other pages. Yeah, she's got, uh, she has the mermaid and the pop manga color books, too. This one's the cre cute and creepy. They 
Thank you, Papola. <laughs> Papola Pizza. <laughs> Janice says, I don't have a cool playlist. You mean Papola hasn't made you make one? <laughs> Okay, so let me show you the this. I've been working in this all month, and uh, it's really getting a little dirty and beat up, but that's okay. I've been using it, you know, uh, at, at least every other day. I've been trying to do a page at least every other day. I'll just go ahead and flip through the whole book so you can kind of see the whole book again. And uh, I love this page. I love the way the light orange and the dark orange and the lime green, they just it really came together. I also... Oops, I missed a page. There's this. This one's got watercolor washes in the background. So that's watercolor washes back there. Um, I really like this one because maybe I like the colors. I don't know what it is. I really like. And her eyes turned out really nice. <clears throat> Oops, I missed another page. So... Janice says, I'm going to do a cool playlist one day. <laughs> this one we did last, I think Wednesday, we did this one. Little snowballs, little monsters. And I still, if y'all didn't notice it, if y'all weren't here, and we talked about, we gave them hairy armpits. <laughs> I love the hairy armpits. <laughs> oh, thanks, Kenny. <laughs> So the book is really fun. And if you go on Instagram, there's lots of people coloring in it this month. There's lots of uh, just just hashtag uh, cute and creepy or pop manga or Camilla. And you'll find you'll find a bunch of pages um, that people have done in the book. I like this one, too. I'm just splashing in the water there. I know there's a page there. There we go. And I like the little pink ghosts. You like the hairy armpits? <laughs> you want to hug them, Debbie? <laughs> And then this one, the monochromatic mummy. And then I added all the spider webs. Just added those in. And I'm also adding spider webs into my Inksectober um, poster. This one I did yesterday. And the little cat, see it's a little orange tabby cat peeking in the inside. A little scarecrow girl. I want to do her like Little Red Riding Hood. And then this one we did a few, I think about maybe week before last we did her. And then this one I'm working on for today. And then all that's left is the bat in the back. So, yeah. Um, all right, real quick, let me go ahead and read out of our 1001 Ways to Be Creative because I forgot to do it last week. <clears throat> all right so i i'll read two page i usually just read one you know double page but because we didn't do one last week i'll read two pages so if you have a society of idea collector notebook or wherever you collect your society of idea collecting ideas you know, wherever you collect your ideas in um you might get some ideas when i'm reading from these and whether or not you want to do them verbatim, exactly like they say, or if you want to just something else occurs to you while I'm reading them, that you want to write it down because what you hear about what, you know, what you're grabbing off of the little prompts is what you should do with those prompts. Okay, so let's see. Allow yourself to ask what if. What if people did not need sleep? What if reincarnation could be confirmed? What if you could remember everything you read, heard, or saw? 
What if every person was kind all the time? What if another advanced species existed? What if you only ate one type of food? What if there were no seasons? What if the universe were a giant simulation or a dream? What if we have more, what if we have to move the oceans or other plant lake? What if we have to move to the oceans or another planet someday? What if you did a creative project every day? Then here's some prompts. We're up to 278. Give yourself a mini vacation from your creative project, but keep a notebook handy. Try to identify the ingredients of a complex exotic dish. Take a mutual 24-hour break from your significant other to allow both hearts to grow fonder. Pledge to invent a new activity to do together when you reconnect. Cut up a piece of art that isn't working. Sometimes it's best to start from scratch. And we've done that a lot here where I'll take old art journal pages and cut them up into art cards. Recognize novelty and freshness in the familiar. Instead of seeing everyday objects and events of, as small, ordinary, and insignificant, see them as precious, unique, and beautiful. Sit on the floor and play with a toy. If one advances confidently in a direction of his dreams and endeavors to live with the life which he has imagined, he will meet with a success unexpected in common hours. Thoreau. I didn't read that very well. If one advances confidently in the direction of his dreams and endeavors to live with the life which he has imagined, he will meet with a success unexpected in common hours. And then we'll stop there and we'll read some of these next week. If we remember, and this is a thousand and one ways to be creative, a little book of everyday inspiration, Barbara Ann Kipfer, uh, best-selling author of a thousand of 14,000 things to be happy about. And uh, I got mine at Tuesday morning a couple years ago. Um, my Tuesday morning is one of the ones that closed down. But um, you can get, them on, get it on Amazon. Oh, thanks, Kenny. Thanks for saying give me a thumbs up. That sounds sweet. Thank you. Um, okay, so do y'all have any questions or any comments or anything before we go? I think, let me test, let me get a gold gel pen and see how this is going to work. Let's do this big one here. Let's see here. I'm going to do the big crayon. Use a gold gel pen. I'm still not sure what color I want to do her hair. And I could probably put little purple jewels in the, in instead of uh, like gold there. I can put little purple jewels in there or something. Let's see. Let's just get a purple pen. Let me just use a, one of these super tips. Super tip, Crayola super tips. These are awesome water-based markers. Of course, you got to remember they're water-based, so you can't get them wet. You can't uh, go over them with, uh, what do you call it, um, varnish or anything. But super tips are good, and, and you can use them in lieu of watercolors as well. Just kind of scrape them off on either a piece of plastic or if you have a you know, a porcelain tray or something, scrape some off, and then you can use a water brush. Let's see if you can see that there. Can't get too cool. Try that. There we go. I'm trying to get the gold to catch in the shine. But especially on these little ones back here, this is going to be. Let me do one here. And then do the light purple on the inside there. 
So if I do all of them, I don't know. So the thing about gold, it doesn't photograph very well. So when I photograph this, you're not going to be able to see the shine unless I photograph it at an angle so that you can uh, catch, catch the shine of it. I'm trying to get the light to hit it just right, but it's not wanting to. But. Anyway, so I'll probably do all the gold crowns. Hi, Tracy. How you doing? You're welcome. Thanks. Thanks for stopping in. So I think I'll do all the crowns gold. Uh, I might do um, the octopus with uh, lavender and then do all the tentacles gold that would probably do good i'll just do a couple here just so you can see i don't want to do them all until i paint it but i can do the little the little octopus tentacles gold along with the crown tie those two together so i'll finish this up sometime today and post it on instagram that's where all of them are so yeah so there's the cover uh, if y'all if y'all do post anything from a color book, uh, and I don't post the cover of her book every time. I've posted it a few times, but I always tag her. I always tag uh, Camilla or whoever the artist is. Ta at least tag the artist if they are on Instagram or wherever you're posting. At least put their name in. I don't think she's on uh, Twitter, but I still put her name in there. So I don't really tag her on Twitter, but I'd write her name and give her credit for the book. But she is on Instagram, so um, if, if you tag her on Instagram, if she's watching for her name, then she'll see your post if you tag her. All right, so y'all got any more questions or anything? It's kind of a short stream today. It hasn't even quite been three hours. Let me show y'all. Let me back out one more uh, again and show you one more time my uh, John Wayne that uh, the comic book hut sent me remember he had sent me the sean connery that he did and he did all this with markers so this is all done with alcohol markers maybe a little pencil but i think it's mostly alcohol markers so i can't lay it flat without it <laughs> getting a light there but um so thank you hut for that i put it in a frame so i really like it Oh, you're welcome, Julie S. And thank you. Hey, H2O Brandy, Linda, Patrick. Said hi to Chatelaine, Kenny, Jane. Thanks, Julie, um, Pacola, and Janet for being awesome mods. Okay, I'll show y'all. Let me, I'll, I'll give y'all a little sneak peek here. I'm going to show it real quick. Now I'm going to run my poster up under. Now, nobody's seen this. Nobody's seen it. I'm getting excited. Can y'all tell I'm getting excited for the end of the month? So I'm in the process. I still have to do six more bugs, and I'm working on the background. So look real quick. There's my Inktober poster. <laughs> so I've got to um, I've got to add a bug to it today and post that. But anyway, I hope y'all got you know again for twenty nine dollars the. Um, <clears throat> For $29, the uh, Amazons aren't horrible, <laughs> you know, but I did want to test them out for you um, because I've seen other people uh, talk about them and I wanted to see how they did. And they're not terrible, but they're not Prismacolor either because Prismas are just so soft and blendable and yummy. <laughs> so... Uh, let's see. Uh, different gel pens are better than others. I like these right here. Um, they come in silver, gold, and white. They're the, um, uh, let's see here. Is it the Kurataki? It's Uniball, but I'm not sure if it's Kurataki. But anyway, they're the Uniball. You can get the silver and gold in a pack. Um, I get them at Hobby Lobby. They're two for three dollars or something but white gel pens are always tricky because so they can i mean and i've tried them all <laughs> i've tried all the different gel pens but i'm going to just be honest since it come since you know me and uh, posca have become bffs i've kind of like don't really you know i don't play with them as much 
Um, but Posca is, um, I, I use the Posca pins for anything that needs to be white. Yeah, the Sakura ones too. And they have the souffle, the glitter, the, you know, there's different, the Sakura has different ones. Like I said, there's a glitter, a souffle, uh, you know, there's different sets that you can get with the uh, Sakura ones. Or is that Sakura? <laughs> However you want to say it. But anyway, um, I don't really use white gel pins anymore because I use the Posca. Let me see here. Let me show you. And I used to use a lot of gel pens when I was scrapbooking. I don't really scrapbook anymore. But just to show you, I've tried every white pen and every gel pen. <laughs> Trust me. If I've gone through all of these different kinds of gel pens and I end up with the Posca, then you know the Posca is what works. <laughs> oh, I did a little video one day with all the white pens. I had a little elf running from them. When I did the elf, I leaned the enabler elf one year. <laughs> I keep a couple of these. Uh, these are, this is a souffle one. I keep a couple of white ones here on hand. But I, I'm just going to be honest with you. Nothing beats, nothing beats the Posca. So, yeah, it's a fine tip. But you can get them in different tips, too. This is a fine point. There's even a finer one than this. It's like almost a thinner. I just, I just like this one. It's fine. Thanks, Bacola, and thanks, everybody, for being here. And uh, we'll see you on Wednesday, and um, I will be, you know, continue to post the cute and creepy in my Inksectober. So y'all have a great day. Do something creative. Stay healthy. Stay happy. Stay free. Bye, guys.